Today I'm going to show you how to fix a delay headlight problem on a 2000 Honda Civic. This is a common problem with Honda Civics um, that I'm aware of where you turn your headlights on and it takes 30 to 30 seconds to 10 minutes for them to actually kick on. It occurs most in cold weather, um, but if you have the issue you might notice that your brights turn on if you hold them down. So from my research this is just an issue in the headlight and turn signal stock. So I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. It's really simple and we'll get you out of here. First step is to remove these three screws here and then take off this dash. So you have a screw there, here, and here. And I think there's one hiding up there. I'll let you know. So once you do that, then we can take all these guards off and then get to the stock here. So now that we have the screws out, this whole part slides off. Just some clips in there. And we have a couple electrical connections here. Move these things off. It'll be a little bit sticky because it is a 14-year-old car. That one. That one. Slide that out. And then this is just held together by snaps. So after fighting, it finally comes apart. Just have a bunch of clips here. You have to use a little bit of elbow grease. Small snaps are good, large snaps are not. And that comes off. These two screws are the ones that need to come out and then this whole assembly will slide out. Okay, so now this can come out, but first try to get in here and push this clip and get the big connector out of the way. And then you can kind of take this apart and get in here and get the little one. Now this is the piece that we need to take apart, and that's the next step. Next step, take these two little screws out, and then we'll pop this housing off of the rest of the unit. Screws are out, now it'll wobble around a little bit, and we'll just come up here lightly and throw our thing on the ground. Pry this up a little bit. Grow a third hand. All right. Okay, so this is kind of tedious. It was a two-hand job. Um, so we got under here, pried this up while with another screwdriver, kind of went behind this little guy while he's seated in here and pried it out one side at a time. And then it eventually slides out. So here's our culprits. All right. See the black stuff on these brass uh, contacts? That's what's causing our issue on this side and on this side. So we're going to get in there with a paper towel or potentially a, a screwdriver and just scrape that stuff off. Okay, so there's really not much extra grease in, up in here or anywhere else. So I'm just going to use some dielectric grease. You can get this at any auto parts store. Just a little bit here and there. This provides a good contact and prevents corrosion. We'll also do some up here where we scraped off all the other junk. And uh, you want to make sure that this part's kind of free floating. You can even take it out if you want to. But you want to make sure it stays right where it was when you took it apart. Otherwise you won't have any turn signals. And that's not good. Okay, all greased up. Now, put it back together. Just watch the video in reverse. Just kidding. Right in there. Hopefully, ah, perfect. Bam. Okay. This baby, we should put it on this way. That looks good. Now, it's our last two little screws. Tighten these down a little bit, not too tight because you don't want to strip threads on this one. That would not be helpful to this endeavor. And now we're going to head under the dash and put this, uh, connect the connections again and we're going to make sure that everything works okay before we put all the dash pieces back together. Good practice to go by. Little one. And the big one. Now, turn your accessory power on and we'll check and make sure everything works. And there our lights work. 
So there's on this vehicle there's still about a one second delay, um, but it's a lot better than 30 seconds or 10 minutes. So the true test will be when it gets cold again and uh, if it works. Slide right in there. Whoops, I dropped my screw. Be sure to pick up your screw that you dropped and somehow get in here. Start that baby. Get the next one. And snug these two screws up a little bit. Top side first. That might actually help. And then we have the other part of the dash. Hook up your two connections. Then break things. Then the gold screw goes on the left side. Usually there's another screw up here, but uh, the last person that worked on this car apparently lost it. So and then the black screw goes on the right side. Now everything's back together. Except that. Then we have our three little black screws with the washers that go here. Hopefully that should do it for you. It looks like that's uh, the end of our job here. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And be sure to subscribe for more. See you guys later.